It gives me great pleasure to introduce the next speaker, which, who is uh, Gabriela Alvarez Parma, professor of San Juan University from Argentina. This is probably one of the oldest users, in a good sense of the word, oldest, of Photomod. And the first localization into Spanish was uh, made in that the university. Hello, I understand I've been introduced. My name is Gabriel Alvarez Parma. I am a partner of uh, a company located in San Juan in Argentina. We provide, we offer aerial photography services. During 10 years, we have been uh, using your product to process, uh, for processing purposes. I am also a teacher at the National University of San Juan at the Department of uh, Mapping and I read a course of lectures on photogrammetry. I would like to share with you our experience of using Photomod with our students. And the conditions in which we can use this product. There are three aspects I'd like to point out. First of all, the trends and tendencies. Secondly, specificities of the photogrammetry department. And thirdly, cooperation, cooperation of uh, surveyors. At the moment, there is tons of resources, images, we have a new technology and uh, the cost of buying this data decreases every day. So at the Department of Photogrammetry, this is a subject that is uh, delivered uh, in year five of studying. The duration of the course is relatively short, but people are interested in the subject, and uh, students want to get over with their studies as soon as they can. And uh, one of the problems we're faced with is that is the turnover of professors, and practitioners such as myself uh, have to go to the uh, department more often. So these teachers have access to practical resources. What I want to do now is share with you our experience of what we did at our department exactly. Uh, what does a surveyor, survey engineer need for professional activities. First of all, he needs to use cutting-edge technology, the latest in the field. He or she should be aware of uh, aerial photography nuances. In order to enliven interest in photogrammetry, Two aspects of promotion were used. First, to change the teaching approach, and the second one is uh, to offer more uh, practical application possibilities. As for a shift in the teaching process, we would like 
for our students to learn firsthand photogrammetric techniques and methods and to engage in photogrammetry themselves. For this, we selected a set of tools. The first one is uh, we chose a photomod, light version of photomod. I'm sure there are teachers in this room who understand the concept of a uh, turned over class, which means uh, students contribute to the teaching process themselves and they tell the others what they have learned. They do project themselves and then they report on the results of those projects and they gain uh, useful insights themselves. So our suggestion was for students to do a photogrammetric project based on the knowledge they have they already have. A small size project using the demo version of Photomont. We selected the work zone with the following criteria. It had to be accessible. It had to be near our university. And various types of uh, terrain needed to be included in the project. San Juan area is high mountains, up to 90 percent. Uh, hard to reach places. There are certain limitations uh, for doing a project of this kind. So we wanted to concentrate on a variety of conditions. And we needed some raw data to start with. I'm talking about images here, of course. So what we needed the most was uh, our region's area, our region's sector. The data we used was uh, Vexel Ultracam camera provided uh, courtesy of uh, the cooperating uh, university from Argentina. Uh, it's able or capable of uh, uh, providing uh, two streams. So with each pass, the whole area was to be covered. We're talking about uh, the working area of 10 square meters divided into six working areas. And each part was handled uh, by a separate group of students. To implement ground support, we needed cooperation with the National Mapping Institute. And we had done preliminary planning, measurements, uh, processing, and we also finalized a report with them. Uh, SGPS company. Uh, different uh, faculties and departments cooperated uh, with us as well. The final product of our work, the final products of our work were included in the uh, Department of Mapping to ensure complementarity and cooperation. We used uh, the general approach, operational approach, which involved several stages. Each uh, stage or each uh, step lasted one week. Uh, the whole exercise lasted uh, for slightly over two months. It involved about eight to ten hours a week for students. Besides, in parallel, they visited other classes, and they also received the home assignments. The purpose of this uh, exercise 
was to obtain true situation, authentic, reliable situation uh, related data, even though it was a small project. And at the end of the day, the idea was to put together a map, to create a map, to be able to learn how to use Photomod AutoCAD uh, for final product generation. During stage one of the project, they worked uh, with uh, regular portable uh, computers, laptops, that uh, used uh, regular software. Uh, the only specific software used was uh, Cartographica. S later, a need emerged to export results of their project to photogrammetric stations. These stations have specialized, dedicated tools for digital processing. Another worthwhile idea is that uh, since there was no original experience of uh, using Photomod, we had to provide that hands-down skills to them on the ground. We provided uh, tips and instructions as to what needs to be done during next stage. And as a material, I will also provide them with a manual of operations in Spanish. The results obtained can be divided into two parts. First part is uh, teaching related, and the second part are re results related. As for the teaching aspects, is that our students were directly involved in obtaining knowledge and skills. They were highly motivated. They learned the knack of working in a team. Also, uh, we managed to bring various subjects into harmonious cooperation. And uh, our team was composed of students and teachers. We worked in sync, we worked together, we evaluated the results and skills obtained. And we applied the learning by doing approach. This was on the teaching side. On my right is a summary of our teamwork. As for the photo mod, we learned ourselves how to do it, and now we feel a lot easier and more comfortable um, doing it. Uh, we figured out the logical behind the logical scheme behind it. Besides, for our students, it was a lot easier to uh, figure out this program, this software, because all instructions were translated into Spanish, and finally we were able to reach our targets, reach our goals, and it, we, our expectations were met and even exceeded. In the future, we would like to develop some methodological materials. We would like to have new uh, materials for studying, and uh, we would like to promote, promote Photomod for further use throughout Argentina. As for challenges, 
we were faced with. Why did we decide to apply and use this soft, uh, program, this software? For us, it's a fairly new photogrammetric tool. There wasn't nothing that we haven't known about, but there are a few factors uh, where surveyors don't use these methods. Why? In fact, they don't know yet that photogrammetry can become part of uh, their professional activity in our everyday business, in our everyday work. And oftentimes they are unaware of uh, opportunities opening up uh, with the photomod. Often customers demand that we use traditional methods without knowing that there are new technology available that they can use to create more modern products. So our first challenge is that we need to enhance production and management of uh, spatial data. We need to position ourselves as providers of geographic data. We must work today for the sake of tomorrow. I would like to know how many of your students, how many of your students, how many of your students who learned about Photomod actually uh, put it in practice? How many students who completed your training course on Photomod use it in their work? Do they put it into practice? Do they? Unfortunately, I can't hear the translation from Russian. There's something, something wrong with... Fifteen students. Fifteen students completed. Fifteen students took part in this exercise, plus four more students. Uh, in July, we have completed the course. We expect that uh, toward the end of the course, there will be three more uh, practices, three more uh, trainings on Photomon. I have a question to ask. I'm Natalia Liba from Estonia. Do you use uh, UAV data? Yes. During this training, we used UAV data, UAV generated data. What software do you use when uh, processing UAV generated data? Is it Photomod or something else? In this regard, uh, we did not use Photomod yet. This is the next stage, next step. Uh, 
I believe there are no more questions. Okay. Muchas gracias.